Governor Kristi Noem delivers her annual State of the State Address today, officially kicking off the start of the 2023 state legislative session. Austin Goss has a recap of what the governor is focusing on this year. Governor Kristi Noem kicked off the annual legislative session Tuesday with her State of the State Address. And while it was a relatively short speech, Governor Noem did manage to cover a lot of ground, particularly as it related to proposals on family policies. Today I'm going to share with you how our state has become the number one state for individuals, for families, and businesses to build the American dream. It's that line that set the tone for Governor Kristi Noem's State of the State Address Tuesday, where she touched on cutting taxes and a slew of other pro-family policies. Among those, expanding the state's paid family leave policy and incentivizing the private sector to provide it. This year I want to expand that opportunity. Currently the state provides paid family leave benefits at 60% of an employee's salary for eight weeks. I'm proposing that we extend that benefit to 100% of salary for 12 weeks. And this new paid family leave policy won't just cover new births or adoption. It's also going to cover taking care of a child, a spouse, a parent with a serious health condition or a situation where a spouse is called to active duty military service. Republicans by and large positive about Noam's freedom message but a battle could be brewing on the grocery tax cut. A proposal to cut property taxes is gaining bipartisan momentum, with the general sentiment being that only one major tax cut can fit into the budget this year. The uh, legislature has been focusing on uh, different areas of tax cuts. Uh, the legislature has been focusing on uh, the need for uh, prisons and county or regional jails. Uh, those are things that I know that the governor's office will be working with the legislature on. Uh, didn't necessarily get mentioned today, but I'm looking forward to working with her in the future. And Democrats also satisfied with the governor's plan to cut the grocery tax and strengthen family leave, but concerned about what was maybe left on the table. If we're going to keep creating all these jobs, how are we going to uh, bring people into work and how are we going to house them? You know, that's another thing that's been uh, hard, taking a hard look at. Now, those familiar with the situation tell me that the governor's grocery tax cut bill will get to go through the committee process relatively quick, meaning that we will likely get a quick determination as to where exactly the legislature stands on that issue. In Pierre, I'm Austin Goss.